Hey, it's Brad from Brad's Tree. Today, I'm going to show you how to fell a tree. But more importantly, I'm going to show you how to assess the tree before you fell it. Alright guys, I hope you don't mind my big suit. I know it looks funny, but it's pretty cold out here. So I'd rather be warm and look funny than freezing and look cool. So, I'm going to start by showing you this. This is a dead stalk. So obviously it needs to come down. So what you want to do is when you come up to the tree, you want to come up to the base like this. And when you're standing at the base, you want to look straight up. It's probably really hard to tell. And we're going for this right side lean, so keep that in mind. But when you're standing at exactly the base of the tree and you look up, you see that top, you might not be able to see it, but the top is actually to the right of this center. So that means that all the weight is pulling towards the right. But sometimes it can be tricky. So what you need to do is you need to look at it from all four sides. So now I'll go here and from here, you'll see that it's actually more obvious. I'll go from this side. Look at the base, look where it is. See, the tree is leaning towards his left. And I'll finally go on my last side. Ah, look what happened here. See, this is a prime example why you want to look at all four sides. Now, when I look at this side, I notice that it's leaning towards me. But if you look at the center of the tree here and look at the top now, you'll see it also leans towards the left direction of where we're looking now. So from where I was originally standing on this side, it's leaning to my right. But from this angle, it's leaning towards the left. So that means our optimal falling would be this direction. Now, let's just say that we figured out that this is the direction that the tree is leaning. And let's say there is a structure, a garage, a house, anything that you're not supposed to be hitting. At that point, if you're watching this video and you need to see how to fell a tree, you should not be attempting to use any mechanical force because at that point you will need a mechanical force. You'll either need a wedge or a rope or a push bar on a skid steer. You will need something mechanical. It is not the notch that makes the tree go where it's supposed to go. It has to do with the weight, where the weight is leaning. So look again, this is the base. Look straight up. It's clearly leaning to our right. But if I was to put a notch on this side, thinking that that would make the tree fall towards me, you're making a big mistake. The only way to make the tree go against its weight is with mechanical force, which would be a rope tied up top and pulled exactly against the lean or wedge or a push bar. All right, so let's set you guys up and make a notch. Okay, so one more thing before you're gonna make your notch. So now you know the direction that's going in, you know the direction you need to make your notch. There's no structures in the way or anything. The next thing you need to do before you make this cut, sharpen your saw. Sharpen your saw up. You don't wanna be sitting there looking like one of those idiots that's cutting on a notch for 10 minutes straight. You know what I mean? It's just embarrassing. Sharpen your saw so this can be a pleasurable experience for you. 
And another thing is, get yourself a hard hat, get yourself some goggles, get yourself some ear protection, because shit really can fall off the tree and hit you. So just protect yourself, wear your chaps, sharpen your saw, know what you're doing, and assess the tree before you even put your notch in. So you made yourself a notch. Here's the next problem you guys are making. He's more the bark, this tree is very dead. Let's see. When you make your notch, and I did this on purpose, these two need to mitt perfectly. See, you actually went past your notch at this point. If you did that, you need to fix that because what this can cause is by going past the hinge this this notch is no longer good once this hinge closes on this gap here that will break the hinge off before it can start to come over and what that'll do is as the tree start to come boom right there it's gonna touch and a little bit more it's going to break off and then what that does is it allows the tree to go any way it wants so if you have a two-part lean and you're trying to get it to go this way but it's also leaning that way then what can happen is as it's falling straight it could break off early and then decide to make a left on you and if you were doing something very precise then you just wreck something so make sure your hinge right here if it's like this, and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. I did it on purpose so you can see. If you went past your hinge, see I have my face here. My face is good. So all I need to do is I just need to come in straight and you want this cut to be level. You want it to be level and then a nice face. Now, if we wanted the butt to hit the ground first or we on a hill situation, I would do a face down here and this would be my level cut. That'd be a Humboldt. And the benefit of doing it that way, the opposite way of the way I'm doing it now, is it'll tend to make the butt hit the ground first. Okay, look at this notch now. The shelf is nice and level. The face is going in the right direction. And where the hinge is, it's connected. There's no cut going past the hinge. So that's a nice safe hinge. All right, now we can proceed to do the back cut. Alrighty, so we're getting to make the back cut here. But before I get started, I wanna show you one last thing. There's also something that you need to remember when you start cutting into the back of the tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting into the back of the tree. We're gonna stop and I'm gonna bring you over and show you something. <laughs> Now remember guys, I know this ain't a Steel USA video, but it's real. This is what real professionals do. So that's what I'm showing you. When you're making your back cut, you should never, ever, ever be below this hinge. Now, if your face 
if you're doing a humboldt and the face was facing down like that same rules of point where this access meets you should never be cutting into the back of the tree lower than this access point horizontal across now i don't like to go too high but i'm a little bit high right now it looks like i'm about a half an inch high on the back but i'd rather be a little bit high on the back and i said a little in the back then going under because that could reverse the way the hinge wood holds and then you could have it prematurely break off now what you should never do is come down at an angle in the back because you think that's going to hold the tree from coming backwards that will not save you from the tree coming backwards the assessment before you make your notch will save you from the tree coming backwards. The only thing that will do by coming down here and meeting your cut here is also create the hinge to prematurely break off and snap and go in a crazy direction. So now we did our wrist assessment, we made a proper notch, and we're looking good on both sides. Let me go around the other side. Yeah, we are looking good. We don't have any obstacles or anything over here to be worried about. I think we're good to finish our cut. So now what we're left with is a stump. Now, depending if you're not doing anything with the stump, if you're gonna have it grinded, if you're gonna try to pull it out with a machine, it's gonna decide what you're gonna do. I usually never leave a stump this high. The only reason why I did is because we're on my property and I leave a little bit of stuff because I use a machine to just pry it out. But if you're stump grinding, you would definitely wanna cut as close as you can to the ground. All right, guys, I got faith in you. The tree was too small for you. Let's try this one. But right now, just because I don't feel like cleaning up all the mess by myself, we'll just say this left lead here. Not the right side lead, we're just gonna do left because I have to clean all this up. All right. So when I look up here, from this side, I see that it's leaning to my left. All right, let's try another side. And you wanna look at it up close and far away because out of eight different spots around a tree, I guarantee you'll be a master at knowing where that tree's gonna go. Let's look at it here. Yeah, you can see it's leaning pretty heavily towards us right now from this angle. All right, let's go over here. Hmm. From this angle, it looks like it's leaning to our right, but up towards the hill. Let's look at it from the back. Hmm. Now, it's hard to see because this bamboo is here. But the butt's about there, and when you look up, you can see some weight is to the left, but some weight is to the front. Now here's the thing. It's more of a sure thing for us to follow it towards the left of where we're looking right now. But if we followed it exactly left, there's a chance that that top will go into these tops and then it'll get stuck and look like that broken top that came off the one we just did. Now that broken top came off in a storm. That's kind of why I'm down here. I figured I'd make a video to help you guys out. Anyways, I like my trees. I don't want to destroy them. I want to actually, you know, make things better, so. So I don't want to fall that in there. I don't want to get stuck up in there. Even though I got skid steer, I can rip it out. 
you don't want to do that and some of you guys might not have equipment you're cutting it up on the ground so yeah you definitely don't want to get stuck up in that tree but i also noticed that there's a slight lean towards this direction up the hill a little bit it's very light if you look from the base you'll see it's leaning towards those tops now there's a chance it could break everything and come down through there but if this was a customer drive or something like that and even with your at your own house do you really want broken stuff hanging all through there or do you want this half cocked up in the air looking like you're a fool no so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look in between both variants leaning it's leaning towards here which is the tops and it's also leaning slightly over here and look there's even a top there so i'm gonna notch this in this direction and then i'm gonna leave some hold wood on the left hand side of the hinge so that it can pull the tree and help pull it towards the left so this time i'm gonna go a little faster because i think i'm being redundant at this point let's just check out the notch all right so i got my notch in but let's go police the notch but not like tree works tips and tricks do all right again there's no lines going past the access point we've already determined the risk assessment and the direction we want to try to have the tree go but if we needed mechanical advantage like a rope or a wedge or a machine to push it you might want to consider calling a professional before you got 10 million views of you looking stupid there you go nice clean notch together now I'm not gonna lie caught that top a little bit but all in all I'm happy